Hi, this is Rachel. Hi. And, she, <laughs> and I'm interviewing her because she actually had a pretty not awesome hamstring strain that I think she thought she was going to have for the rest of her life, right? Um, oh, hi. Should I say hi? Hi. Um, okay. So, Rachel, do you remember how you originally injured it? Training for Leadville 100. Were you doing it or were you pacing someone? I was doing it. Did you get very far? No. Well, I got 50 miles. See, this is it's the problem in Colorado. That's all perspective. <laughs> it's not very far. It's just 50 miles. Yeah. Uh, okay, so you were training for the Leadville, or you were doing the Leadville 100, and do you remember what happened? Um, nothing really happened that day. It was more the week after when I was trying to climb up a nice big rocky hill, and my butt started to hurt. And that's all you remember? Yeah. And this is in August of 2016. Yeah. So this is two years ago. So what did you do for a while? Did you just run through it? Yeah, I just figured I was sore from the weekend before and, you know, that it would go away. <laughs> and how long did you continue to run through the pain? A year and a half when I noticed my left quad became much bigger than my right and I couldn't go up hills without swinging my hips a certain way. <laughs> Because my glute wouldn't fire anymore. <laughs> so what did you do? Like, did you get any help before you came to see me? or I tried two other physical therapy places. Um, and what kind of, like, physical therapy were they doing? They were focusing on the glute. Okay. They were, Great. Well, let me think. They gave me glute exercises, did not necessarily show me how to do them or make sure that I was doing them correctly. So I basically just didn't do my exercises. I do remember you telling me that when yeah. you first came in. <laughs> um, yeah, it just it felt it felt like it, it wasn't the right fit. So something didn't seem right about it either place. So I just would. Can you like extrapolate on that a little bit? Like, well, I felt like if they were giving me all the exercises I already knew for glutes, that I could probably just do that on my own. Oh, I gotcha. So they were just giving you exercises, not necessarily. And or putting their elbow in my glute so hard that it bruised People, significantly no. or dry needling or... No. Pain does not heal pain. <laughs> so weird. Okay, so you've had this strain. By the time she comes to see me in the clinic, it's March of this year. She's pretty sad. She doesn't think she'll ever run again. She's a run lead at one of the local um, fitness facilities. And anyway, so we started finding your glutes, but what else was like the problem? Do you remember? Um, I mean, I couldn't even step up onto a curb without pain. I couldn't. Right. There was so much weakness and then muscle imbalance and back issues. And That's right. You had back pain. I kind of forgot about your back pain. Yeah. Yeah. You don't have that, do you? No. No. Yeah, so like when she came in, like every, her hamstring thought it was her glute, like her hamstring tendon, like a little tiny, tiny piece of tendon thought it was her glute. So we had to figure out how to get her butt to fire without her hamstring. So I was told, what were you told about your running? So once we kind of got her, because sitting was really, really bad. Sitting sucks with hamstring strains. Going up hills, like you said, stairs. Yeah, I mean, they said, I guess it was, um, you can keep running. Yes, you're going to keep doing 50Ks from one of the PTs. And the other one said, once it starts to hurt, stop. Which, by that point, I didn't know. I didn't even know what point that was. Because right. Because just being alive hurt. <laughs> being alive hurt. That is actually kind of a true point about hamstring strains. It does. It really kind of, like, infiltrates your life. Yeah, and it was probably maybe a mile. I probably could run a mile. Maybe. Maybe. Before pain. Yeah. And then remember when we were working on your run, you were, do you remember that you, what you were told? To not rotate? Oh, yeah. I'm not supposed to rotate my upper body. Not true. Not true. So because of all that, there was all this like funny, funny loads. So remember we had to start working on rotation, thoracic rotation. Anyway, so we started. So do you know how many visits you came to see overall? No. <laughs> I didn't count them. So you had gone, so this is two years. She's gone to all these different physical, do you remember how many visits you had had at other physical therapy places? Uh, I was doing twice a week for a while there. 
maybe six to one and then two to the first one only two because you didn't in like that particular because if once i left if i tried to run my entire skin was so bruised that it was bouncing and super painful from just being dug into yeah guys that is not <laughs> physical therapy that's just being painful anyway so so i wouldn't have counted because she came to see me from march to june eight visits total wow. that's it eight because she did her work because she actually did her exercises because they know i get mad if they don't do their exercises so she just she's really tired today and she has like a red bull somewhere <laughs> but um see because what did you just do i just did the trans rockies six day what is that it's 120 miles in six days with 20,000 feet of gain where is it it starts in uh, buena vista and goes to beaver creek and were you able to do it was able to do Did you it. have any hamstring pain? No. I mean, I was sore. Sore, but, but my leg worked correctly. Everything fired the way it was supposed to. You feel your glutes yeah. when you're out running now? Yeah, my glute didn't quit. My glute didn't quit. Yeah. No, I'm quitting glute. See? And that was only so she was discharged in June and it's August. So, two months. Two months. And she ran 120 miles in 6 days. And a year ago, you would have never thought that that would be possible. I would have tried, but it would have sucked. <laughs> <laughs> so don't make it suck out there. <laughs> so here's my question for you. What was the biggest difference coming to physical therapy compared to some of the others? Besides the fact that I didn't, like, bruise you. Oh, yeah. Well, you did make me hurt sometimes. Well, yeah, but I didn't <laughs> bruise you. I said it very carefully. Yeah, um, so... The difference was you looked at me doing the exercises and figured out that some of them, even though they're glute exercises or hamstring exercises, were firing the wrong muscles. Even up into my back, nobody else mm -hmm. did that before. Nobody else made sure that their, these will fix this exercises were actually doing what they were supposed to do. And we had to completely retrain all of those muscles to work again. Mm -hmm. No one bothered to talk to me about that, to work it out, to figure out what would work and what wouldn't. If I couldn't do a correct movement, then I had to move on to something else. Right. So. Right. Yeah, it's a patterning problem, people. The yeah. pattern. This is an athlete. She's a huge athlete. Like, it's just a patterning problem. You got to help them pattern it. <laughs> so, do you have to still do any of your, do you still do some of your glute and your stuff that you had to do? Yeah, I mean, I, I like to keep the hamstring strong. So we did eccentrics, right? Which I talk about in the blog that you have to do hamstring eccentrics. So you still do that yeah. like three times yeah. a week or so? I try to. Yeah. Um, and then uh, I activate my glutes every time I'm going to start running, which is always ding, fun. Ding, or ding, during, ding, ding, during ding, ding, runs. Yay. Love it. So. What yeah. else are you doing these days? Are you biking or anything like that? I was biking. Well, before Trans Rockies, a rock fell on my foot, so I couldn't run some more oh my god so i got on the bike so i will say one thing about <laughs> rachel she, she has things happen sometimes an awkward relationship with rocks <laughs> some things just happen <laughs> yeah so i did do some biking but it wasn't by choice but you know are you back to being a run lead yeah and are you actually running with the, the pack now not yesterday no okay but not well that's because she just ran 100 yeah. hiked hit, run 120 I had miles to apologize for that Thanks for coming to Run Club, person, <laughs> but uh, I'm not supposed to run right now. <laughs> Did you do it with anyone, the Trans Rockies? No, I made some, I made friends. The back of the Packers always make friends. Aww. So I have two good friends now from Arkansas that our lives will never be the same. So for all these people out here that are watching this and think that they are never going to have their hamstring heal, like what would you, what would you tell them? Go to Lori. Well, no, <laughs> besides that, let's say they're too. in oh, Chicago, no. or do you oh. know what I mean? So, like, what would you tell them was the, I mean, besides the fact that we worked on your glutes and your hamstring, like. Well, if, if you can figure out how to notice the difference between the muscle groups moving. Yeah. Was, I think that was the biggest point for me. Was the fact that the glute has to fire before yeah. the hamstring to and move I the leg. That feels like now. now. And that your back should not lift your leg. Yeah. You got that, guys? Look for somebody, right, that's going to watch you. Right. Yeah. 
Exactly. Do you want to say anything else about what else are you doing this year? Are you doing another race? No, just small stuff that I usually do. Which is? Um, it's probably just just a marathon. It's just going to be a small little itty bitty marathon, isn't it? Um, there's a race down in Creed. It's 22 miles. It's 11 miles of climbing, um, and then some downhill. So, I did it last year. I suffered through it with a leg that didn't work, and so now that I trained for that by doing Trans Rockies, I'm sure it's you're, gonna be great. It's gonna be. It's gonna you're be gonna. Amazing. It's gonna be fun because you love to run. I like being out there. Yeah. You like being on the trails, for sure. Yeah. Well, yeah. Rachel, thank you so much for coming and just sharing your story because hamstring strains are something that people think that they'll never actually recover from. Yeah. But you can give them the thumbs up that they will. All right. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Have a great one. Bye.